start on uh, Saturday. Does that change anything for you guys? Is it, you know, we still still got some confidence with the freshmen in there. Yeah, I mean, no matter who's behind us, we we know we have to protect. And then, you know, we know they're going to do their job. We got confidence in them. In terms of what he was able to go out and show on Saturday, does that give a little bit more confidence? The fact that he did go out there. And I mean, I know he's your teammate, so no matter what you would say, that you know he did a good job. <laughs> but he actually, you know, played pretty well in the game. Yeah, it was, it was pretty exciting to see the things that he was doing on the field for that short period of time. So it does give us a little bit more confidence seeing that he did. Know what he did on the field. Did it surprise you at all? I mean, he was first first snaps were at, at Alabama, he's the number one team in the country. No, it didn't really surprise me. He's he's done some things in practice, so I kind of, I was kind of looking forward to it. What kind of leader is he? Everybody talks about the quarterback being a leader. There's different kinds of ways to lead. What kind of a leader is he, and what kind of style does he take? Well, he's just more he's more vocal leader than, than anything. You know, just like on the offensive line, he's taking command of things and making sure we're getting lined up fast and you know, things like that, doing the little things that every quarterback should do. But he's, he's a true freshman. Don't you guys kind of look at him and, and think he's only a freshman, or, or does he kind of well, take command of that? Either way, he's got to lead the team, you know. he got to lead the offense <laughs> to, to the glory. How smart is he? Everybody talks about how intelligent he is. And oh, I, I know he's smart. Uh, I'm sure he got a great score in the ACT, I believe. And, Oh, yeah, he had this girl or something else. Do you know what he got on the ACT? I don't know. I know it was high. Yeah. We, <laughs> talked about it before. we talked about it before once. I just forget. It was a while ago. You look at Missouri's defensive line, and it's obviously very talented. You guys are getting kind of used to facing very talented defensive lines. Yeah. What have you seen uh, from them on that side of the ball, and, and what do you have to watch out for against them? Uh, we have a lot of respect for them because they have, they're just great high motor guys and they're relentless and everything they do. So we have a lot of respect for them. Is it easy to kind of chuckle when other good defensive lines head of you? I mean, that's. Is it, is it easy to kind every, of stay every, up when you're playing? Yeah, Such every lines back yeah. back so much. Every D line SEC is going to be good, so it's nothing new. You talked about Joshua Smarts. How does that carry over to the practice field, of football, to the game field, from what you've been able to see? Uh, just like any, every other quarterback, you know, making reads, you know, uh, making re reads on the wide receivers and D line and things like that. So he's going to be good at making those reads. The fact you were able to see him Saturday, see what he did against Alabama. How much more confidence does that give y'all than maybe if he was coming and making his debut this week? Like I said, it was exciting to see the plays that he made in that short period of time he was on the field. So it gives us a lot of confidence in him. You guys go to Mizzou, a place you've never played before. What is your I'm anticipation like? Oh, you have been? Yeah, my uh, brother played for them. Well, I'm with the St. Louis. So, I was close. <laughs> well, uh, what, what, what is your anticipation going to Missouri? You know, are you excited uh, about playing at that venue and at that place, or is that just sort of another place to go to? I'm kind of excited because we haven't been there before. Uh, we know it's not an no, entirely big stadium. We don't know it's going to be cold, and so we got to focus on the road. That's it. Road focus is a phrase I keep hearing over and over again today. Yeah. What exactly is road focus for you guys? Well, being aware of the elements, um, crowd, and noise, things like that. Just being aware of the things that usually happen on the road. You're a Midwest guy, though, so cold doesn't really bother you. I guess. No, but there is a reason I came to Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's one of them. <laughs> you, you were talking about your your, your brother played, was it for? Illinois. For Illinois, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, and they played in Missouri every year. And they played in the St. Louis, though. That's Missouri. Okay. So, so you've never actually been on that campus? I haven't been on the campus, no. I'm in the state, though. I'm in the state. <laughs> Close enough, right? Yeah, it's close enough. Now, when you, you talked about, but you know, Dawes going in there and he barked out everything. He was really clear. Was he like that right when he got in there, or or, or, or did y'all have to be like, "Come on, kid, nah, speak uh, up"? At first, he was, uh, yeah, we tell him to speak up a lot of times, like during practice, and he get his reps with the ones. And uh, when he stepped in the Alabama game, we were surprised that we didn't have to do that. So it was pretty good to know that. So y'all were having to, it's funny because y'all were having to tell Justin earlier in the season to talk up a little bit, but what's obvious, I mean, he, whatever, whatever it was y'all told him in the in practice, he, he, he yeah, figured yeah, it out, I guess. Yeah, he figured it out in the game. In terms of, of this team's kind of you know, confidence level, you know, y'all have, have gone into November the past couple of years after some really, really tough Octobers, and this was a better one. I mean, you know, y'all didn't get the wins you wanted all of them, but the, the overall play was a lot better. Does that help this team coming out of that stretch now, knowing that going into this stretch, hey, I mean, there's been definitely some progress there. Yeah, it does give us a lot more confidence than uh, you know past years when things were just going really bad in uh, October. So it does give us a little more confidence coming into November. So you think this team really can? I know y'all talk about snap and clear every day, but mm -hmm. you feel like that's something that's actually really happening now? Like it's, oh, yeah, it's of course. We, I mean, it doesn't matter what happened last week or the week before that. We just got to focus on this next game. That's our mindset every week. So if Jobs is so smart, which one of the offensive linemen is the smartest? What do you think? Well, I, I say James, you know, he's a center. He, he's pretty smart, you know, on and off the field. So. Is he smarter than Dobbs, or is it? Is it I don't know. I don't know. It's maybe a, 
a great mind battle between those two. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to see, no problem. Zach, uh, Zach, I know probably everybody's someone asked some of this question, but as an offensive line, how do you help a quarterback, a young quarterback? How important is it to keep him clean and not, you know, as, as well as they sack the quarterback, get after the quarterback, that you keep him yeah. clean? They just want to make sure we protect him well. You know, he's, he's a young guy back there, so we want to make sure we give him as much time as possible. And things that we do to help him is just, you know, watching film with him and us, watching together is going to help us communicate things on, on, on the field. How much?